Europe's economic zones stretch far into the Atlantic and Arctic. New technology is vital for monitoring and protecting our environment and marine resources, especially in harsher, more remote locations. Marine UAS is an EU-funded, collaborative, international program to strengthen research training on autonomous unmanned aerial vehicle systems, or UAS, for marine and coastal monitoring. Pooling our knowledge, facilities and operational experience can reduce the costs and risks, allow rapid deployments and greater accuracy, and minimise negative environmental impact. An important advantage of UAS is safe and efficient navigation and mapping. Margarida Costa Faria from Falacatec in Spain is focusing on advanced navigation for inspection of offshore infrastructures using UAS. So I work on autonomous explorations with UAV mounted lasers. Uh, this enables to do inspections uh, remotely in an automated way. I was given the opportunity to learn internationally from Philadelphia to Zurich being able to talk with the best in the field and incorporate their knowledge also into my research. All of this creates value so that the research that is done in the PhD is useful for society. Efficient propulsion, bad weather, wind and range are essential considerations when unmanned aircraft cover vast areas. Anthony Hovenberg from Maritime Robotics in Norway has worked on a hybrid electric solution with their PX31. The hybrid system is something that gives you the flexibility to switch between long range in nice conditions, um, but at the same time gives you the peak performance that you might uh, want in specific conditions. We've been traveling throughout Europe, meet uh, very interesting individuals, um, both from academia but also from professional industry, uh, which really gives you a good perspective of um, where you actually might end up working. So it also gives you um, some food for thought of what you really want to do when you're done uh, doing research. When a UAS mission is done, the next challenge is to land a fixed-wing, unmanned aircraft in locations without a runway, like a ship. Mads Bornebusch from the Norwegian University of Science and Technology has been working on a new ship-based recovery concept using two multi-rotors and a line. The hardest task to solve in this project has been to get everything to work reliably in, in actual field tests. So to get something to work in a simulation, that's one thing and that's relatively easy. But when you go out and do something like this and want to make it work in real experiments with real drones and real uh, fixed-wing UOV, then everything has to be super reliable and robust in order to not just crash everything the first time you try it. So you really have to make sure that every little detail is thought of and, and that every little problem you encounter is solved in a, in a nice way. So in reality, it's part research and then a lot of engineering work to actually get it to work in, in real life. Marine UAS has built a solid foundation for long-term European excellence and the innovation of UAS. The program is fostering collaboration between the partners and has created unique opportunities for researchers in a field that has grown considerably since the program began five years ago.